still reeling from the shock of a fire that destroyed their home and killed a pet last weekend. 13 Wham's Daniel Finkelstein spoke to the homeowner who just got out of the hospital tonight. Daniel? Yeah, good evening to both of you. Christina Dolich is now back home recovering from significant injuries after she went back into her house to save her pets from the flames. Now she's rebuilding after her tremendous loss. It's a homeowner's worst nightmare. It just happened. I can't even, I can't even go into the details because I don't know how it happened, okay? All I know is I panicked. And, you know, you think that you can have a cool head. I just panicked. And all I could think of was getting the animals. Christina Dolich's home on West Side Drive in Gates was on fire. I opened up the back door to see if the cat could, would want out the back door. I couldn't see the cat. And then all of a sudden, everything got crazy, and it got really, really dark in there within seconds. Several pets were inside, and Christina fought to bring them to safety one by one. Three dogs got out. I just grabbed them with, with, two, with one hand here, and I grabbed the, the rail, and I ran down the stairs, and I jumped over the last step because there was like a flame. I jumped over the last step. I hit the... I hit the the door to the garage, I felt for the handle, I pulled it open and I ran out and I grabbed the dogs and I ran next door. But as she went back inside for her cat, Evan, she was pulled away by a bystander. He pulled me back and he goes, you can't go in there. And I said, I have to, I have to go save Evan. <laughs> and he said, if you go back in, you're not coming back out. And I just fell in a heap. Sadly, her cat did not survive. Christina was rushed to the hospital and had to be intubated due to smoke inhalation. He said my CO2 levels were off the charts. I, my tongue was black. I shouldn't be here today. Her grandson, who lives with her, fortunately was not home at the time. But her photos, memories, and everything she has is all gone. My dad's memorabilia, my memories of my kids, all my Christmas gifts from my kids, <laughs> my cat which is the worst. <laughs> but while navigating this loss, Christina says she's grateful for the support she's seeing from the community. There's a lot of compassion and there's a lot of good people out there. And I'm darn lucky that I have been in a community filled with so many wonderful, wonderful people. God gave me a second chance. I'm going to keep going. The community has raised nearly $10,000 for Christina and her family. She hopes to pay the kindness forward with a big barbecue in Churchville Park this summer to say thank you. Karen.